Hello and welcome to an exclusive episode of the 214 Sports Show. I'm your host, TJ Krolitz. I will be the only one joining a part of the 214 Sports Show. But I'm with a very special guest, J.P. Hurlbert. He's a forward on the U-17 U.S. Men's National Hockey Team. He's also a Dallas Stars Elite alum. He's one of, if not the best, uh, rated 2008-born hockey players in the nation right now. And most importantly, an Allen, Texas native. JP, I'm so excited for you to be on this interview. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for having me. Excited. Yeah, man. It's awesome. I'm going to be talking just a little bit about your past with the Dallas Stars Elite, your future, your, your present right now, playing for the U.S. men's national hockey team, being an international player right now, and also your future, as you can see in your background, committed to the Michi- or the University of Michigan. So congratulations on that again, man. Um so let's go ahead and get this interview started, man. I'm super excited. Uh, just real quick, man. I want to know, was was hockey your first sport? Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, uh, being a Dallas kid, it's definitely overlooked in some regards. But, you know, ever since I was two years old and my dad was a huge Red Wings fan and I'd be uh, going around the house yelling hockey, hockey, hockey. So that was uh, my first sport and it'll, it'll be my last sport I play most likely, so. That's cool, man. So you you're a Red Wings fan. I'm a Red Wings fan, and I have to be a Stars fan too. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. You go you come from the Dallas Stars elite team. Um, but I mean, is does that kind of being a Red Wings fan? Did that kind of I, I did your is your dad from Michigan? Yeah, yeah. So my dad went to Michigan. Oh, um, okay. Over there and. I've always uh, had a love for the state, and my grandparents are up here, so I've always been around it. And you know, to finally live up here, it's a it's a dream come true for me. Yeah, that's awesome, man. So, uh, kind of getting to uh, how, whenever you first got into hockey, how did you pick your position? Your forward, I'm assuming you like to score goals. You're pr- you're pretty fast on the ice, but how how did it come to be? Yeah, I think I've always kind of had a a knack for scoring goals. I think it's kind of always come to me a little easier maybe than others, but it's obviously, you know, a hard skill to to master. And even today, it's, you know, the hardest thing you can do in any sport, I believe, is to uh, score score a goal or a touchdown or whatever it may be. But I think that feeling of knowing you put points on the board to help your team, it's that's kind of the reason I, I chose being a forward. Yeah, I got you, man. Um, yeah, you had some great seasons with the Dallas Stars Elite team uh, just a couple years ago. Um, obviously, you, you got to have a good hockey resume kind of to make that team in the first place or to join that club. Um, so so what age, what, what team, what age did you kind of realize that you had a lot of potential in hockey? Uh, I started playing for the Elite when I was about eight or nine years old. And pretty early on, I, I fell in love with it, the travel aspect. Being from Dallas, you know, you have to go across the country to see some other teams and players. And I think kind of, you know, when I started hitting 12, 13, my teenage years, I I realized who the best were and, you know, what I could do every day to, to try and be like them and eventually catch up and over time uh, help just develop as a player. Yeah, I got you, man. So about 12, 13, you started realizing that you could uh, you could kind of have this potential in hockey. When did the scouts start kind of noticing you, college scouts and such? Uh, I think around 14, 15, it was uh, kind of the age for everybody where they start reaching out. And, you know, colleges was January 1st this past year where the NCAA eligibility opened up for the 2008 age group. And I think, you know, early on, kind of 14, 15, you start meeting new people, going out to dinner, and it's, you know, part of the process you learn to enjoy it uh, and relationships that will last a lifetime yeah i got you man uh it was it uh, again you're you're from allen you're an allen native um kind of what was it was it kind of hard to or i guess a good better way to put it um was it difficult to kind of get recognized by scouts at first because of being in an area that's you know, not usually a hot spot for hockey prospects or was it just, was it easy? You know, was it still as, as easy as people from the North, basically? I think it's the same. I think, you know, Dallas is a sport and hockey is a sport that's growing very rapidly. It's one of the leading in the country. So I think there was no disadvantage. You get, you get the same opportunities and, you know, for Dallas, we, 
we're uh, lucky enough to travel a lot and go north. So you, you see a bunch of different scouts in different certain areas. But, you know, I think, you know, everybody had the equal opportunity to, you know, put yourself in front of others. And, you know, I think we did a great job uh, proving it. Yeah, dude, that's great. Because, I mean, it, it always seems like there's there's kind of this stigma around kind of hockey in the South that kind of doesn't, you know, there pe- people in the South, they don't have strong fan bases, Dallas, um, kind of in Texas, the state of Texas. So I'm always glad to see that people are proving that wrong, like you. Um, love love seeing hockey thrive in the South for sure. Have you ever, have you met any professional players from the state or any any players like that? Yeah, I, I've been, um, you know, I'm a kid too. So I have my heroes that play hockey and mm-hmm. stars. So I've uh, been lucky enough to meet some and to see what they do to be the best in the world and to, you know, watch them train and sometimes train with them if I get lucky every now and then. But uh, it's really, you know, I'm a kid. So I love meeting my heroes and getting to see that every once in a while. is It's truly an honor. So who are your heroes? Ah, uh, you know, I yeah. think the stars, <laughs> you know, the two big ones I'd say are Sagan and Ben, but yeah, you know, and all the, yeah. I've always looked at him and, you know, he was training up here this summer when I was up here. So I got to see him probably about four or five times a week and uh, just to watch and see what he does. It's, it's. That's awesome, man. Have you ever been able, you've been able to train with Ben and Sagan before either? I uh, worked out with them once. Worked but, out uh, with them once. How, never, how special was that? They're strong. They're strong. But no, <laughs> couple of my buddy, uh, we got we got lucky and uh, we uh, had a couple lifts with them. So that's awesome. So um, let's kind of. I want to talk a little bit about your commitment to Michigan as well. Um, could you kind of explain why you chose to go to Michigan? Um, I'm also pretty interested, like. Or is is kind of the uh, do do most hockey prospects do they go to uh, from North America? Do they do they usually go to universities or do they usually try to go to the Canada Juniors route? Um, I know that a lot of the top hockey players in the NHL kind of come from Canada and the Canada Juniors. Um, so uh, just kind of why did you choose to go to Michigan? I, you kind of explained it earlier, but kind of why why'd you choose it and also is is this kind of the new move kind of going to universities and playing for playing for universities playing in the um sorry the NCAA yeah uh you know uh, Dallas is one of two you know you could go to the WHL which is a major junior league where you'd get paid and lose your right to play college hockey and for me I've always been you know a college hockey fan but also just a college football fan I've loved going and visiting schools and, you know, just that college experiment experience and like being a kid. And for me, uh, I've always watched Michigan football, always watched the hockey. And I've also, you know, fell in love with the coaching staff they have there. And for me, it truly, it was a dream come true. And I feel like it was the right situation for me to go to. And so, yeah, to answer your question, it was always the college route for me, but you know, everybody has their own path and where they want to go. So I know a couple of my teammates have, chosen other schools and that's great for them and i'm happy for them as well yeah man so what would you say is your favorite part about michigan it could be <sighs> any, yeah i know it's it's a great it, university it is yeah i love the culture they have there i mean i uh i was lucky enough to go to the national championship football game in houston and to see all the there and you know there were some of the hockey guys were there and just to see them and it's truly like one big family. It doesn't matter what you did or when you graduated. It's, it's a big culture. And so that really was one thing that uh, it would be a part of the rest of my life. And so I, I wanted to be a part of it. So who would you say is like your favorite Michigan athlete of all time? I'd have to go with Tom Brady. I think yeah, he's just, I was expecting it. <laughs> That's a statement name, but yeah. I'm really in love with all the team they've had there's no one player that really stands out to me that's just kind of the name that yeah. pops up it's just uh it's such a great university and what they do it's 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 the best yeah you know it, i'll maybe 
I'll maybe say it's not the best. I have definitely my biases, but I'll say it definitely is one of the best. I agree with you on that one. But um, let's get into kind of the uh, uh, playing in the world tournaments and playing for the U.S. men's national team. So when you get to play in these world tournaments, um, do you kind of get the opportunity to talk to other players from other countries? Have you been able to, you know, form any friendships with anybody or, uh, you know, do they do you kind of just like not not worry about that? You know, don't really just stay competitive, kind of stay focused, you know? Uh, I think, you know, it's great. We, we like to meet them. Uh, you see them around the cities or, you know, for Korea when we were there, it was kind mm -hmm. of in a group. So you obviously you get to meet them. You want to learn their cultures. And we truly had a great time with that. But, you know, when it comes to game time, it's time to represent your country and, you know, do what you do best. But there's no there's no hard feelings. It's all it's all love and respect for the game and respect for each other for playing such a such a great sport at a competitive level. Yeah. And speaking of the uh, going to South Korea or to Korea, um, winning the gold for Team USA um, and even being able to score a goal or a goal in the gold medal game. Um, I mean, could you just that's I mean, that's pretty, pretty freaking awesome, man. Uh, what were you thinking before <laughs> the game? Were you were you nervous? Was it more excitement? Uh, you know, I feel like any person, it's nature to be a little nervous but for me really it, it didn't didn't settle in it didn't really hit me till after the game to be honest that we were we were world champs but um you know it just felt like any other game really which it, it was surprising but it was uh it was really special really special yeah man just, just kind of explain the kind of explain the emotions after scoring that goal man what was it i mean how are you feeling uh, I'd say in the moment, I didn't think too much about it. To be You're honest. just still, yeah, yeah. Folks, but after the game, when, when you see your family and, you know, all the people that were wearing the red, white, and blue and the flags kind of going around the building, it was, it was uh, a sight to see. It was really, really special. And it just shows you, you know, all the hard work that we put in as a team. And, you know, ever since you've started playing, you kind of dream of moments like that. So it was, uh, it was just a dream come true. I bet, man. Uh, it, so playing for Team USA, did you know a lot of the players though? But coming into the, you know, going into the locker room for your first games, uh, were they, you know, did you know them from past tournaments, anything like that? Yeah, we uh, we know each other for the most part. Um, you know, we uh, we battled against each other since we were really like nine, ten years old. So, you know, there's really some familiar faces, and it's truly like it's a blast to play with kids from all around the country and you know make lifelong memories and you know do do special things but i don't think it was really hard uh to be honest we uh everybody bonded really really quick that's awesome man did they, did they ever tease you for being from texas being like oh man this guy's from this guy's from texas he doesn't really take hockey that serious come on you know no i didn't but get much of that you know i uh, <laughs> i get i get made fun of for saying y'all too much but that's kind of the one one area where they get me, but no, they uh they respect it, and you know they they really know that you know that Texas is a growing market, and I mean even we were in New Mexico last weekend for a couple of games, and it was uh it was cool to see all the younger kids there. That's great to hear, man. I and I love to hear the uh, the y'all, man. I it's <laughs> it's so natural to me. I bet it's so natural to you. It's just like it's weird to think that other people just don't don't say it like that it's weird so that's that's pretty funny man um but staying you know from texas the the 2025 i i i h f u18 men's world championship is going to be played next spring in frisco and allen uh you have the potential to play in that tournament um i mean this is it's got to be a really exciting opportunity to play in front of your home city are you are you planning to try out first of all want to make sure that yeah. yeah yeah um <laughs> you know, i'm looking forward to it obviously hopefully if everything works out uh maybe get called up for the 18 men's but uh it'd just be a dream come true if really you know i have the circ i have the the calendar marked for it and if it works out and it'd, it'd be uh you know like i said a dream come true but if not um just keep my head down keep working every day and uh, eventually eventually it'll happen so 
Yeah, man, that's a that's a really good, really good mindset to have, obviously. Um, but hopefully I I hope you're able to play in that. Um, that's a that's a really exciting opportunity. And I I hope to see that uh somebody from Dallas is able to make it again to the NHL. Um, I believe you are the 2026 draft eligible. Um, and I'm so excited to see how the rest of your career pans out. Um, thank you again for joining me in this interview. Do you have anything else to say? Do you have any shout outs, anything like that? Oh, no. Thanks for having me. About that. Yeah, man. It's been a huge pleasure. Uh, and yeah, again, good luck for the rest of your career, man.